So welcome to Macro Mornings again. Um, what I'm going to cover today is an update to the Explode Surface command. Um, we've added some new twists to that, which make it even more productive and more beneficial when you get surface models that you need to get at the data that's inside them. Um, so here we've got an example on screen of a large berm project. If we look at that in 3D, we can take a look at what that looks like. You can see it's a large berm with a large kind of pond area behind it. And if, for instance, we need to get the line work out of this, we were given this as a TTM model or a TIN model from AutoCAD 3D faces or whatever. And you can see the break lines in the data, but of course they're not break lines, they're just the triangle faces. Uh, in this case, they're a TIN model, so they, uh, you know, the whole thing acts like a triangle surface model. But if I want to get this line work out of here, we added the uh, ability to extract line work to explode surface. And so here you can pick the surface model that you're trying to explode. You can tell it which layer you want to put the data on. And then you've got a number of options here, and I'll show you the three different options that we have. But this is the first one is we can do a break angle. If I put it in an angle of, let's say, 10 degrees in here, which is pretty good because these are all three to one slopes uh, with horizontal benches. So the break angle is the angle between, let's say, this triangle right here and this triangle right here along this side. That would be a 10 degree break angle or less, or more rather. And so consequently, if I put it in 10 degrees, it should find these linear features directly. So let's just do that and hit apply. And in this case, what it's going to do is it's going to create you all that line work directly. If I turn the surface model off here, you can see you've picked out nearly all of the break lines. If I look at it again in 3D, you can see that it's picked out all of the features pretty much exactly as per the design. Um, and that's great because now I can go back to first principles, build a model using the break lines. And now I've got a better surface model uh, under my own control in TBC. So again, nice simple tool there to extract the data by break line. Just going to pause here, and then I'm going to show you a second example. So in this example, I've got a <coughs> subgrade adjusted surface. So we had a finished grade model, and we applied a subgrade adjustment to it. And when we do that in TBC, we create the break lines as internal break lines. So these lines that are here, they're part of the surface model, and we can't get at those um, normally just by um, using them like normal line work. And so if I want to extract those lines out of this model, so I've got the line work for the subgrade adjusted surface for staking or for checking, or I want to put that line work out for an excavator, or I want to break that line work up and use it um, to define a new surface, a composite surface of some kind, then I need to be able to get at that data out of the surface model. So again, explode surface works for this too. In this case, I'm going to go in here, pick the parking area, um, but I'm actually going to pick the finished uh, design with subgrades adjusted. Here we're going to put this data on a layer. I'm just going to stick it on the, um, let's call it grading, uh, find grading here, finish line work or something like that. Uh, let's put it on grading, uh, let's just put it on grading break lines. And in here we can then say, um, in this case I can say, I want to create, if I turn this off, I can say just create the break lines from the model. And I could extract all the triangles with points and lines or just lines. If it's points and lines, they're dependent objects. But I'm just going to do the break lines and then just hit apply. And what that's done now is it's extracted all the break lines. So if I just turn off the surface model now, um, I need to turn the layer on. Uh, which layer did I put it on? Grading features, break lines, this one. Yeah, and I can turn the surface model off now. And there's the break lines that I just created. And these are all created as 3D uh, line strings. So now we can go in and do whatever we might need to do with that line work. So again, nice little trick to better pull out the data out of a surface model once it's been created. And that applies to if we import land XML files and they have internal break lines, or we have uh, Trimble Business Center files, surfaces that have been created with internal break lines, we can now get at either the break lines and the drape lines is the same thing. The drape lines applies where we apply texture areas to a site we could pull those out as well at this point. So again, a nice trick in here to be able to pull out all the data. I just want to show you as well where we're on this particular surface model. If I uh, turn off this feature layer, uh, I'll just go back and find that a second. Just turn off that feature layer. And let's say this time we want to uh, build the, um, well, I'll do it on the same layer, actually, why not? So in this case, I'm just going to say build the triangle lines. So let's do that, turn off the break lines. And say so this time I want to create lines only, and then I can hit apply. And what that's going to do here is it's going to pick all the triangle faces out and then build me 3D line work for every single triangle face, which is a kind of nice tool. Sometimes you need that to better break up a surface that you were given. 
and then trim up the edges or whatever if it didn't have a decent boundary around it. So again, breaking up a surface. And these are all just triangle faces. There are no points at all in here. But if I did it with the points and lines, let me just undo what I just did there. Just get rid of that data. Uh, and now what I can do is I can say, uh, just turn off the surface again so we can't see that. Let's say I want to do the um, points and lines for that same surface. And if I do that, what that's going to do now is it's going to create me um, all of the feature lines, but this time as um, points and lines. And so if I click on any location here where there's a triangle side, you'll see there's both line strings and points now. So you can see there's points in here. And if, for example, you edit the elevation of one of those points, let's say make it 120, just to demonstrate this. Um, one, oh, numerical values, no, okay, 120. So you can see by doing that, it adjusts the elevation of the point, but it also takes all of the line work that's attached to those points. So the two options here is just creating lines or creating points and break lines. And then the last, uh, the last thing I'm going to show you is um, being able to pull out data within an angle range. So I'm going to show you that next. Just give me a second. I'm going to load another file. Okay, so in this example, we've got a tin model given to us again for a subdivision. And let's say, for example, I'm trying to find the center lines or I'm trying to find the uh, curb and gutter lines or the flow lines out of this surface. Then explode surface now has some additional tools to help you there. Before, we only had a single break angle. Now we can say use a break angle, but this time I want to use it within a specified range. So in here I can say, if I was looking for the crown lines, for example, I could use a range here of, let's say, uh, 0.5 degrees to 5 degrees. And at that point now I can say uh, automatically join segments as well. And what it will do is it will try to find me linear features within this which have that uh, range of uh, values now as opposed to a specific value and higher. So in this case we can say automatically join those and hit apply and this takes a few seconds so I'm just going to pause while it's doing it and then it will come back in just a second or two. So yeah this time it's generated uh, all the lines that now have that range. So here we've got the center line for example and it's trying its best to join the lines but when it gets to a point like this where the lines are potentially going in two different directions, it will pause and stop and uh, you have to go through and select those out. Now, of course, there's a lot of line work in this data set, which is uh, at that break angle range. Um, there's not much we can do about that, but what you can find in here is very quickly, you can pick out all of the line work um, that you need uh, to build the finished grade center lines from that data. So it's a lot quicker doing it this way than actually trying to do it using uh, a drawing uh, method of drawing the lines through the data. So there we've got three examples of how to use the explode surface. One is just to convert a tin model into a 3D line work model with points and lines or lines. The second is to extract all the break lines and drape lines out of a surface that Trimble Business Center created to better give you the line work for the subgrades that you've built. And then the third is to use either break angles or uh, break angle ranges to pull out all the, all the line work that you might need for a surface model. But again, a great reverse engineering tool to be able to pull out information from surfaces that you've been provided if you need the line work for model purposes. And that means you can now add these things to things like corridor models. You can add these things and use them for side slopes to recalculate things if you need to, or to drop out the line work for subgrade adjustments and things like that. Okay, perfect job. Thank you. Bye.